guys, what is up? It is I, the Concrete Hat Walk. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I am a reseller who loves all things thrifty, vintage, free love, new, nearly new, you name it, estate sale and selling. I love it. To my Cat Walk first, mwah, welcome back to a new video this Sunday. To my newly subscribed, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. You guys, we are going to talk about something that I was not expecting to purchase. What precipitated the purchase, it triggered a thought pattern when I saw it. And it was something that I knew that I wanted to share with you guys and talk to you guys about. This is not an unboxing. There are three things I want to go into with you guys about it, especially those of you who enjoy buying pre-love bags on the resell side of the fence. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Those online sites like Fashion File and First Dibs and the list goes on and on. This is going to be a talk about why it pays to pay attention when you're looking for something that you are interested in in a designer bag. I'm just gonna bring her out so you can see. This is what I want to show you guys. I'm gonna read the name because I don't want to do it a disservice. This is called the Chanel Coco Cabis Overnight Black Microfiber Nylon Weekend Bag. Essentially what you have here is a gigantic, gigantic nylon hobo bag that fits everything under the sun in it. I'm not going to talk about the bag in depth. I'm gonna do that at a later point. You guys know how I roll, you know what I do. I got this bag last weekend. Now, this bag is from 2010. I had been interested in it because one, it was a nylon bag. I had decided to do a little bit of a search because I was looking for nylon bags. I just did a search and the bag, it popped up. Let me get into this because you guys are gonna really trip out. I started looking at different sites. One site that I came across was First Dibs. Now I'm gonna show you this because you need to know. So First Dibs offered this bag, this very bag that is sitting by my feet for $8,920. This is the listing. It is actively sitting on their site. So let's just keep this going, shall we? It's like, okay, well, let me look Let me look to see if there's any other sites that have this bag. I did another search for the bag, another site, and the bag popped up on Tragzy. I was excited, so I pull it up, I look at it. This bag on Tragzy is sitting at, and it is an active listing, you guys. This bag is sitting at $9,920. Here she is, okay? So follow me on my logic here because I don't want to drag this out. I just want you to follow me on this. The next place that I went to is a site where I don't find many things that often, but if I do see something, usually it's right at the point where I know that it's going to be probably a score for me. I ended up going Vestier Collective and I did a search of this bag. You guys, when I tell you this bag came up, this bag was listed on their site for $1,920. It was marked down two times. The next markdown took the bag down to $1,522. And then the final markdown took the bag to $810. Do you hear me? $810. This is the sold listing in my hand for the bag. And I pulled the trigger and I bought that bag at $810. They described the bag as being in good condition. When the bag arrived to me via DHL, the bag was in phenomenal condition. Like I showed you earlier, this is the bag. This bag, had I pulled the trigger someplace else, would have cost me $10,000. Do you hear me? $10,000 for this. And I'm saying this to reiterate to you guys, shop around. Take your time 
and search. Search all of the reputable sites that you love to go to. Look for whatever bag you are interested in. People who are new to pre-owned, new to pre-loved luxury. This is for you guys. And this is just to reiterate to those of you who are deep in it the way that I am. And I am sharing because I was stunned when I ended up purchasing this bag for $810 versus the eight or nine thousand dollar price tags that it was on those other two sites that i named i'm going to give you three things that you should pay attention to when you get into this so here we go first things first you need to know the price range the original price point that you're dealing with when you look for that particular pre-loved bag that you're interested in this bag back in 2010 retailed for a little under two thousand dollars it's about 1875 and, and that's fine back in the day so you fast forward today real time and everything else that is going on with luxury designer bags and new and pre-loved hence this is why you've got those bags the same bags sitting at those price points on those other sites know what you're getting into know the original price to know that you somewhere along the line when you find it are or are not getting a bargain two trust your instincts when i started seeing the price range for this bag in the eight and nine thousand dollar range the flags went up not to say that there was anything wrong with this bag being listed at that price point no i wanted a good deal i didn't want to go in and spend that kind of money on a nylon bag it just wasn't making sense to me and i'm like make it make sense you need to search this out and i'm glad that i trusted my instinct and I just continue to search. If it feels like it is too much money, if it feels like the price point is just a little bit out of control too much, pass, go on to the next, trust your instinct. And number three, I'm gonna tell you something that I have learned to do, and that is search, search often and search some more. Your favorite sites that you like to look at for pre-loved luxury goods, search them fearlessly and search them frequently so that you can find exactly what it is that you are looking to buy. And not only that, cross check to see if some other site has the exact same thing that you are looking for. This is becoming all about, I'm just gonna call it what it is. It's becoming all about the manhunt, all about being that targeted you know exactly what it is that you want and you are honed in on what it is you'd like to have and whatever your price point thresholds are that's what you're working in but i'm going to tell you something you guys this was an amazing find no it is not something that's going to be leaving my wardrobe at all i am amazed at what i have seen just in terms of escalated prices still in terms of increases that are going on with the pre-love market, especially for Chanel. But I will tell you this, the deals are out there if you take your time and you look and you search and you know what it is you're willing to pay and what you're not. Guys, that is what I wanted to share with you this week. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about looking for pre-loved bags or how I do what I do, ask me in the comments below. I read all the comments that I get on my videos. Feel free to ask me any questions that you may have. If you don't want to miss out on any videos that I post, tap the bell for notifications. I post videos every Sunday. If you tap the bell, you will know when I've dropped a new video. Links to my social will be down in the description box. I will also leave the site for Vestiaire Collective, if you're interested in looking for something for yourself, I will leave that. I am not sponsored, but I share. You guys, I have no problem sharing information with you. If you ask, I'm going to show you where to go so you can get it. Thank you so much for watching me this Sunday. Be safe, and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye for now.